Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video and in this one I'm gonna show you how to sing like Post Malone in circles but of course the twist is that I cannot really sing so I'm gonna turn my bad vocals, put a bunch of effects on them and turn them into vocals that actually sound pretty good in the whole mix. Also make sure to check out my big fat Christmas bundle which is the biggest sale I'm doing ever. You can get 23 sample packs for the price of one so $20 for 23 sample packs and you'll get like 3,800 sounds, including loops, samples, presets, FL Studio project files and more. So yeah, check that out, link will be below in the description. Now let's get to the video. I'm sure you are excited for this. I think I did a pretty good job replicating some of Post Malone's like signature vocal stuff, so I'm gonna talk about that right now. So of course, like in every video, I wanna, I wanna play the vocal with no effects, dry vocal, just like I recorded it. And as I said before, I cannot really sing, so it's always kind of funny and cringy to listen to. So be prepared for that. So yeah, let me remove the effects from the vocals and let's play it. And of course, I kind of went with a parody lyrics, a parody of my own channel, because it's dying. Let's hear it with no effects. And of course, after that, we're gonna put a lot of effects on it, make it sound good, but here is the dry vocal. Try to upload daily, but then I got lazy. Got what was coming, a channel that's dying. Beauty's video, cause my channel's dying. If I get less, I'm gonna be flying. Beauty's video, cause my channel's dying. My channel. My channel, I want you to do something, click that subscribe button. Okay, beautiful. I know, I know it's great. I should be a singer. Anyway, so as you can hear, it's pretty bad. And especially like here, I couldn't, my voice couldn't handle it anymore. My channel, my channel. That was too high for me. And also this last vocal, I was unable to sing it in that octave so I had to like record it three keys lower so the way you do that you play the chords and you know I would sing the vocal Beauty's video, so my children. you know but since I cannot sing this high I want you to do I would need to record it I would need to lower this like three keys lower and then sing it and then once I recorded that, I pitched it up by 300. So the original sounded like this. I want you to do something. So that's how I recorded it. Then I pitched it up by 300. And we have this. I want you to do something. And of course, the mode needs to be E3 mono. Otherwise, you're going to get this chipmunk thing going on. I want you to do so yeah, go with E3 mono if you do this. So that's how you can kind of cheat when you cannot really sing high enough, but you want a part in your song that will be that high. You can record it lower and then pitch it up. That's one of the things you can do. But now let me show you the effects that we're gonna put on these vocals to make them sound good, because right now they are awful. Try to upload daily. Okay, let's get to it. I got two vocals as you can see, both are the same, but both have different effects. So let's start with the first layer, which is the main layer. I'm gonna show you all the effects, one after another. So first we have the gate, that's basically to remove any white noise or any background noise in the vocal recording. So everything that is really quiet in the recording will be totally muted. Then we have picture, which is one of the most important things here. So we got the picture which is the autotune pretty much, which will fix all the false notes and there is a lot of them. So it's set to minor A, which is the key of the song. If you want to figure out the key of your song, if you don't know what key you are singing in, I usually just go through a bunch of them and see which one sounds like the one I meant it to sound. So this one, for example, wouldn't. Try to upload daily. You, you can see it's trying to find a note that's not in the key. That's how I usually figure it out. Just go and try a few of these, see which one sounds the closest to what I was trying to sing. Try to upload daily. 
but then I got lazy. The autotune speed is between fast and medium. That's basically how fast it will switch to the other note. If you go fast, it will be too unnatural. And if you go slow, it might not fix all the notes properly. So I went with medium and that works pretty well. Now, next we have the reverb. Try to upload daily, but then I got lazy. And I actually automated the reverb a little bit to start off with less reverb and at the end of the notes have a little bit more. So whenever there is this break in the vocal, we have more reverb in that break. Try to upload daily. Then we have the EQ where I deleted some of the low frequencies and boosted the high frequencies. And that makes a big difference. That kind of changes the color of your voice. And here's how that sounds. Try to upload daily. But then I got lazy. But after you do that, you tend to have a lot of the S's too loud. So that's why I have a de by Fab Filter. And every time there is an S sound, it will try to lower the volume of that S sound. Got what was coming. A channel that's dying. So you can see that's dying. It's trying to lower that S. Then we got a compressor with this preset aggressive BM. What this does, it just kind of uh, takes the whole vocal and makes it more balanced. Like the volume of the, of the vocal is more or less the same throughout the whole recording. It doesn't deviate as much as it would without the compressor. Try to upload daily, but then I got lazy. And then we have another EQ where I lowered some of the high frequencies actually. I realized I boosted them too much. I could do it in this EQ, but I usually just prefer to put another EQ in there and lower it then. And then we have another EQ where I played with the frequencies even more because I heard some harsh frequencies. And when you hear like there is something tearing up your ears, just try to find it by lowering some of the frequencies and seeing what could cause this. So it's going to be different for everyone. That's why it doesn't make sense to copy this but that's what I did for my voice. So yeah, that's the first vocal and right off the bat, it sounds way better. So yeah, before, try to upload daily, after, try to upload daily, and even better here, beauty's video cause my channel's dying. And then we have before, beauty's video cause my channel's dying. After. Beauty's video cause my channel's dying. But I did add one more effect, which is totally like signature for Post Malone, which is the vibrato in his voice. Like when he has these long notes, his voice is almost like shaking a lot. And I'm pretty sure that's done in post production. I mean, there can be some vibrato in your voice, but you can make this more obvious with this effect, which is automating the fine tune of the pitcher, which you can see right here. This is like the fine tune automation. All you do is click on the point and do wave. And then you can, you will have this wave. You can make it faster or slower by dragging this up or down. And we will have this effect. If I'm not dying. So with, without it, not dying. and with it, not dying. it's uh, pretty strong, but that's how Post Malone does it as well. And I think it's a pretty cool effect. So yeah, that's one effect that's like signature for Post Malone. So that's it for the first main vocal. And then we got the like a background vocal, which is also pretty important because it adds more to the whole vocal recording. So it's pretty much the same vocal but it has different effects on it, partially. So we got pitcher again, but the autotune is faster. Changing the speed of the autotune for the second vocal will make a little bit of a difference for the whole vocal. So it will almost sound like those were two different recordings because the pitch will be a slightly different in this vocal than it is in the original. So that's why I made this one faster. Then we have the gate again, which just mutes the quiet parts. So it sounds like this right now. Video cause my channel's dying. We also got the same vibrato effect. Dying. And then we got EQ where I boost the high frequencies, lower the low frequencies. And then 
Another plugin, which is like a new trick I learned is vocal synth. Without the vocal synth, it like, it's like this. this video, cause my channel's dying. With it, it's like this. this video, cause my channel's dying. It takes it from a regular vocal to a really like background vocal. And let me show you the effects I put on it in there. But let me just enable the rest so you can hear it better. So we got reverb, of course, it's just reverb. Then we got stereo shaper, which makes the vocal like wider in the mix, which is good for a backing vocal, not great for the main vocal. And then we got the compression, the same one as before. And some more EQing, just adjusting my voice to fit the mix. But now let me show you the vocal synth effects, because without vocal synth, it's almost like the original vocal. But with it, it's like really in the back, right? And that's kind of what I wanted because this is not supposed to be the main vocal. So here is the vocal synth by Isotope. And the effect I'm using is Polyvox to make it slightly different than the original, even though it's the same recording. Then we have this distortion, which doesn't add too much, but makes the vocal a bit more saturated. And then the chorus, which really makes it like a background vocal. It almost sounds like more people are singing it. So yeah, that's what I used the vocal synth for. This plugin overall is incredible for vocals. I can definitely recommend it. And you can do so much more with it. You can do like vocoder stuff and a lot of different stuff. But, but this time I only used it slightly to make this effect for a nice background vocal. So yeah, that's all the effects we got. And together, both vocals with the effects sound like this. Beauty's video cause my channel's dying If I get less I'm gonna be flying Beauty's video cause my channel's dying My channel, my channel I want you to do something Click that subscribe button That's it with the effects. I mean, without them it was like this once again Cause my channel's dying If I get less I'm gonna be flying And with them it's like this Beauty's video cause my channel's dying If I get less I'm gonna be flying But of course it will sound a lot better with the whole beat and all the music So let's go and play the whole thing Also check out my big fat Christmas bundle Where you can get 3800 samples from 10 different genres and 23 different sample packs, only for $20. These are all the sample packs I ever made and I'm pretty much giving them away. So yeah, check it out, link below. Now let's play the whole thing with the vocals. Enjoy. And yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make these vocals and I'm always having fun making these vocals. Of course, I want everyone to know that I'm not pretending to be a great singer or nothing like that. 
but I think with all these effects and stuff like that, we can actually make it work pretty well. And let me know what you think about this remake. I think I, I think it's pretty close to the original. And as I said, the link for the big fat Christmas bundle is below in the description, which contains all of these packs. Check it out. You won't regret it. And thank you for watching and goodbye. Thank you.